Ahoy mga katotoys and welcome to Tune R. Today we will unbox this Gundam Universe XXG 01H Gundam Heavy Arms. <laughs> So this belongs to the group of GFF MSIA figures. Definitely very different in terms of concept design compared to a Gundam kit. Now checking to this box, we have here the image of uh, Gundam Heavy Arms in Battle Scarred concept. Though uh, the figure itself were very different from this image. We have here the GU-15, probably uh, the product code or number so this is the 15th model release from the figure series of course the Gundam name of this figure definitely from the anime series came from the new mobile report Gundam Wing copyrighted from Sotsu Sunrise illustration by Layup designed by Tamashi Nations in Japan Bandai Spirits made in Vietnam we also have here the hologram sticker of Tamashi Nations quality, logo of Tamashi, or rather Tamashi Nations, and Bandai logo as well. And this side, we have the image of the figure, and on the other side is the name of the Gundam Heavy Arms. At the back featuring the action and articulation, we have some sample images, some gimmicks, particularly the flipping blade and leg feature. We have here the anime brief introduction of this Gundam character. Also, they introduce other figures like Gundam Exha Gundam! and Freedom Gundam. Of course, some information here regarding with their websites and others. Another hologram sticker here of Bandai Philippines, authorized distribution of Bandai Namco Asia. And without further ado, let's proceed with the unboxing. We have here the manual, uh, aside from the instructions, they also stated the fragile parts and as well as with the sharp parts from this figure. With extra pair of hands for weapon holding, connector for display stand use, and this beam gatling gun of the figure. It seems that this is longer compared to the usual beam gatling figure representations. The details of the shield were properly defined. And if we look at the back, there's a nice additional detail here aside from the connector, which also gave good aesthetic detail from this view. As for the beam gatling itself, it seems that this is fixed. There were some panel line details here and here. Some embossed details were defined. I also love how they place this camera sensor detail here. Well, probably I'll just put green color detail here for the lens representation. The design of the front tubes here were also different from the usual. As you can see, the tubes were extended. And here, there's a ball joint connector to secure the attachment to the arm. Of course, the handle support here which is the detachable. And this is the figure itself, Gundam fans. It's very wow for me. Oh my God! Wow! Definitely, it's heavy arms and it must be good. The materials were composed of some plastic and rubber parts. Technically, majority of the parts of this figure were fixed. They made this in matte finish. The color details were placed properly very minimal color application and that is if you still want to add up some color details 
I also like the quality of the color, very clean and no excess error paints. And good news, no stickers applied. I really like how they applied the silver color on this blade. Very expressive and very complementing to the figure. Also, the placement of the panel line details was good. They also enhance some details from the usual. Like this arm, instead of a solid shape, they added some embossed details and lifted up this part of the arm. The front skirt detail were very noticeable. I love how they place these lines here. The legs were beefed up to make it more stable looking in its standing pose. The leg missile pads were not in typical box design and they extended with other details. And if you check out the design and details, it's a wow. Look at the vents here. I totally love the idea. For the articulation, heads can rotate 360 degrees. Side front and back movement, ball jointed shoulder armor, side arms raise, full arm rotation forward, another full arm rotation here, double jointed elbow though with limitation due to the design, ball jointed hands. Body bends up to this point only and bend backwards up to this point only. No waist rotation which you will rely on the minimal swing of the belly part. Front skirt can lift up to this point only and not ball jointed. Side skirt lift up to this point. Back skirt is fixed. Ball jointed for the leg connector. Legs can sideward up to this point only and raise forward up to this point only. Limitations of the movements was blocked by the skirt parts. Legs can fully rotate. Double jointed knees but made it limited due to the blocking of its design. Ball jointed ankle but with minimal movement. And the feet was in fixed design. As we have anime references for the figure, we already know what Gundam Heavy Arms can do. Basically, the gimmick here are the panels. We have the missile pad in the shoulder, missile pads in the legs, the beam gatling mounted on its chest, and of course, the beam gatling gun itself. This figure is taller than the 1 is to 144 scale of HGAC Gundam Heavy Arms. And I'm quite surprised with the size and expecting that it will be closer to the size of MSIA's figures. And here's the comparison with the MG or the Master Grade with a 1 is to 100 scale. So look at that, almost the same of height. It feels now that I'm having a Master Grade Gundam Heavy Arms TV version. It's now MG5. And here's my score for this figure. Definitely the color presentation was awesome and no stickers applied. The gimmicks were as expected in the anime reference, though we're seeing here challenges in articulation. Accessories also met the expectation. Figure presentation is also okay and you can display this as it is. Though with minimal thoughts with the beam gatling as I seeing it with a minimal plastic vibe or look. I really like how they applied the details here and not overkill. Price for this kit is good enough to have it. You can have a MG5 feels because of its size and details. Overall, this is definitely a lesson figure for me. Not only that this is a Gundam Heavy Arms, but it managed to reveal its awesomeness. The advantage of this kind of fixed figure is that you can play around on it without experiencing major popping parts. Very playable and just play this with your heart, probably a simple outlet to relieve your stress. Though this is suitable for ages 15 and above. Wait a minute!
it. You can now directly display this to your toy shrine and not worrying with the details. To all Heavy Arms fans and Gundam Wing series fans out there, definitely this figure is for you. And please do burst like, share, subscribe to my channel, and blast that notification bell for more videos. And this is Gundam Universe XXG01H Gundam Heavy Arms. Until next time here in Tune R, may the toys be with you.